I remember the day I changed my name. I was adamant about cutting the cord to the past. I mean, really, who is Frank Ferrara? I was just 21 years old. I was in Los Angeles, California, and I walked out of the courthouse, and I was like, I'm leaving my father. I'm leaving Frank Ferrana. That pain, that suffering, that abandonment behind. I am now Nikki Six. I was a small town boy with big dreams. I was raised by my grandparents and I was taught that you work hard and you don't complain. But for some reason in my brain, I kept going back to the anger. You know, where I lived in, in Twin Falls, Idaho, we lived out on farmland. I had time to, to dream and I had music. My mom had let me know that my dad was uh, alcoholic and a womanizer and a drug addict, and he was a bad guy. You shut the door and you think, I don't want nothing to do with those people, those experiences. And even though at the time it looked like reckless abandon, uh, I did have a dream. It wasn't until I heard Jimmy Dean's Big Bad John that was the first moment where I knew there was something out there more than just a song on the radio. Something was drawing me somewhere else, away from the small town, and I think it changed my life forever. I got these ideas. I'm gonna combine punk and glam and heavy metal, and you know, once I started flying, I forgot how to stop. And then one day, you get curious. What's behind the door? And I was sitting with my uh, aunt and uncle. They said, I don't think I ever saw your dad even have a beer, Nikki. And I'm like, but my mom said he was an alcoholic and that he was a bad guy. And they were like, Frank was a wonderful guy who's super creative. I have elements of my dad in me and it's, um, it's wonderful to feel those good feelings. Who the hell is Frank Verona? He's a small town boy with big ideas. He was willing to take chances that were probably not the best ideas, but you have to go for it and you have to do anything in your power to make your dreams come true. This book is really about the past and how it fits with where we're at today. <laughs> People are funny. They ask me if now that I've rediscovered my childhood, if I'm gonna quit playing rock and roll. I'm gonna play rock and roll till the day I die. <laughs>